Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be learning about <clears throat> SQLite join clauses. If you don't know anything about joins, you're in the right place. I suggest you watch the slides, which is going to be the first part. If you already know the basics of a join, you just want to know how to do it in SQLite, you can feel free to skip the slides and hop right into the code. I should have chapters set up so you can look at the chapters and see where the code starts. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. What is a join? A join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables in a select statement. A simple example of this is select all from table one, inner join table two, on table one dot column equals table two dot column. So let's get rid of the example text. Let's pretend we have two tables here, users and videos. Now let's pretend that this is YouTube. So for each video that's uploaded, it has an associated user ID and each user's table, of course, also has an ID. So we would say select all from users, inner join videos on or where, as you might want to think of it, users.id equals videos.userid. So this is going to return all of the data where from all the data from both tables where a user ID equals the same thing as the video user ID. And if at any point this doesn't make sense, just stick with it. Once we get past the slides and we get into the code, it will 100% make sense by the end of it. I promise you that. So there's a couple kinds of joins. The first one is an inner join. An inner join selects data that has matching values in both tables. An example of this could be table customers and the table orders. Both would have a column called customer ID. So what we could say here is select orders dot order ID. This is going to give us the order ID in the table orders. So we're not going to get anything back from the customers table right now. Next, we're also going to be selecting customers dot customer name. So now we're going to be getting a customer name from the customers table as well as an, orders, an order ID from the orders table. We're going to be selecting this from orders, and then we're going to interjoin customers, that's our second table, on orders.customer underscore ID equals customers.customer underscore ID. So each time there is an order that has a customer ID that equals something inside of the customers table, customer ID, it's going to give us the order ID and it's also going to give us the customer's name. So we also have a left join. Now a left join returns all records from table one and matching records from table two. So what does that mean? Well, that means that it's going to give us everything from that first table. So in this example, we would get all of the order IDs because that's the first table. We would only get a customer's name where this is correct. So we'd get all of the orders. And in some cases they would have a customer name in other cases that would just be null because there's no associated order. Right join is the exact same thing but it flip flops. It returns all the records from table two and matching records from table one. A full outer join returns all records from both tables when there is a match in either table. And that's it for the slides. Let's move on to the code and hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a fresh directory. This directory is going to be called test. Next, we're going to go to extensions and we're going to install SQLite. It should be this first one, which says it's by Alex CVZZ. Once that's completed, we're going to make two files. The first file is going to be called sql.sql. The second file is going to be called test.db. The SQL file is going to be used for writing and running our SQL, and the DB file is going to be our SQLite database.
Next, you're going to want to hold Control, Shift, and P at the same time. On Mac or Linux, that's Command, Shift, and P. You're going to want to type SQLite and then click Run Query. It's going to ask you to select your database, pick test.db. First thing I'm going to want to do is insert some sample data and create some sample tables. So let's create a table. Let's call this table users. Let's create another table. Let's call this table orders. Users is going to have a user ID and that's going to be a integer and primary key. Orders is going to have an order ID and that's going to be an integer and a primary key. We're also going to have a user ID here That's going to be an integer. Lastly, we're going to have a product. This is going to be a varchar 30. Back in our users table, let's also add a username for a column. This is also going to be a varchar 30. All right, after we run this, we can comment it out. And there's an error here because we did not put a second parenthesis. Let's fix that. Run it. Comment it out. Now we're just going to insert some test data. I'm going to speed this up so that it's not too boring to watch. Now that we have all our test data inserted, we can start working with joins. First thing we can say here is going to be select all from orders, orders, inner join. Users on orders dot customer underscore ID. The user underscore ID equals users dot user ID and look at that we have each one now let's say hypothetically here we wanted to make an order that has an ID that's not an actual ID now when we select all from orders what we're gonna get is that 11th order ID which is for a can But if we were to select all from orders inner join on the user ID, we don't get that. And that's because that user ID does not exist in the users table.
Now we can add to this, we could say and product equals cucumber, query that. And look at that, we get all the ones that have a, a cucumber for the product. Perfect. Really, this should be orders.product. But it doesn't matter because there's only a product in the orders table, so that's not going to get too confusing. Next, let's select users.username, and that's going to be all we select from the users table. Let's also select order underscore ID and run it. And look at that, we're getting the username and the order ID. Now, this really shows the brilliance of this. We can get everything that we want from the users table and from the orders table using this inner join. Next up is going to be a left join. Now you'll see when we run this we get some nulls, right? And that's because it's returning everything from the orders table, but it's only returning the username table where that on check is valid. And if we were to flip-flop these, we would get vice versa. We would get the opposite of that, right? We wouldn't get an order ID where this is not valid. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys found this helpful, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it lets me know that people are finding the content that I create helpful. I hope you have a great day. Take it easy.